Hello everyone. I am Orpita Shamadev. I am a macrobiologist and currently working in biology laboratory ICDTRB as a research officer. The title of my presentation is Overcoming the Challenges of Long Transportation Time of Samples in Culturing Miseria Gonorrhea. Ensuring sexual and reproductive health and rights among key population is a huge challenge due to discrimination and stigmatization towards this population. The key population include male sex workers, transgender, which is called hijra population in Bangladesh, and female sex workers. They remain major reservoirs of sexually transmitted infection, including chlamydia infection, syphilis, and gonorrhea. In 2014 report in Dhaka, uh, in this report, they have published that Nigeria gonorrhea has been isolated from 1.6% key population, which is very low. Uh, studies from other districts are missing due to lack of laboratory facilities, long transportation time, and, and the very fastidious nature of Nigeria gonorrhea. Therefore, the objective of our study is optimizing specimen collection, transportation, and processing method for isolation of Nigeria gonorrhea from key populations in Bangladesh. In our study, we have followed two strategies. For the first method, we have collected samples in MS transport medium, and then after all the samples have been collected, they were transported to ICDJRB laboratory, Dhaka, and, and the next morning, the specimens have been processed in the lab. For, the, for another method, the collected swab samples were inoculated on Nigeria selective medium on site by medical technologists. After the sample have been collected, they were placed inside anaerobic jar at room temperature and the batch of the day accumulated then they were transported to lab the porter then kept the uh, kept the jars inside incubator in uh, specimen reception area uh, which is uh, which is used for this uh, this purpose only for uh, when we have uh, inoculated or when we have used this process uh, bacteria got optimum growth condition uh, when, uh, when samples have been arrived at night now the question can be why we have, the, we have collected samples at night. Uh, when we are working with this key population, there is a challenge. The challenge is due to their, uh, their lifestyles and their behaviors. We have to collect samples at night. Okay, when, uh, when we have collected samples with these two procedures, we have observed that on-site inoculation procedure has reduced 10 hours of layover time in Dhaka and in Joshua, this procedure has reduced three hours of laboratory layover and improved, uh, improved 11 hours of on-site layover and transportation time. The samples have been collected in Dhaka and Joshua district from September 2022 to March 2023. Anorectal swab, oropharyngeal swabs have been collected from male sex workers and hijra population in Dhaka and cervical swabs have been collected from Joshua, uh, for, from uh, female sex workers in Joshua. This uh, bar diagram is showing the distribution of participants among three different strategies. One, transport medium collection, and two, the both methods, transport medium collection and on-site inoculation. Three, on-site inoculation. When we have collected samples in transport medium, Nigeria gonorrhea remain undetected. While evaluating both the method, transport medium collection and on-site inoculation, we have observed that we have, we have detected seven Nigeria gonorrhea isolates only from on-site inoculation method. But we, we, in, in this evaluation process, we, we could not detect any Nigeria gonorrhea from transport medium collection. For that, we, after that, we have followed only on-site inoculation strategy and isolated 11 Nigeria gonorrhea. In total, 18 Nigeria gonorrhea have been isolated from 1,495 key participants. Presumptively, 39 isolates have been identified based on gram staining, oxidase test, and catalase test. And after that, uh, uh, 18 isolates have been confirmed as Nigeria gonorrhea by Vitek2 system. The growth of Nigeria-like colonies, but uh, non-Nigeria gonorrhea, iso non gonorrhea isolate was about 30%. Among the non-gonorrhea isolates, Nigeria sicca and Nigeria lactamica were the most dominant. The summary of our study, isolation of Nigeria gonorrhea, especially from remote areas, is critical and needs careful consideration when collecting and uh, transporting specimens. The adjustment and adaptation of alternative procedures in our study successfully isolated Nigeria gonorrhea strains. For male sex workers and hijra population, 
orthopharyngeal swabs were less likely to result in a positive culture. So you can say that the on-site inoculation procedure was better than the collection in transport medium for Nigeria gonorrhea recovery considering available resources. Thanks to all the team members, lab team, field team and participants. Thank you all for your patience.